Hi everyone. Right, you join us on a fairly dull weekend which threatened a little bit of rain so I'm not in the vineyard doing anything outside but instead we're doing something that's needed doing for what well, seems like weeks to be honest. So we're going to be basically concrete or getting ready to concrete this area in front of the barn here and it's going to be basically just levelling it all out, putting some um, shuttering around the outside and then pouring concrete into the middle and making a nice firm level base which has been needed doing really for the last uh, 10 years or so. The normal way we would do this is to get it roughly level and then get some rough sort of scalpings or hardcore, whack it down so it's a nice firm base and then pour concrete over the top to about a three inch thickness, maybe with some reinforcement uh, rebar in there as well. But I'm going to do it slightly differently today because we've got to get rid of loads of old tiles and rubble that we've had lying around the place and we want to sort of tidy things up a bit. So we're laying the um, so the, the floor really with a whole load of broken tiles um, and just putting cement or concrete around it all and then um, we're going to essentially have a nice solid base onto which we're going to uh, pour the concrete. Now Sonia behind me is just laying out some tiles. We put a little bit of mortar underneath the tiles just so that we're on a sort of level base and then we're pouring concrete around it so that they're all sort of fixed into place. This way we're sort of essentially burying all the tiles that we've had lying around in underneath the uh, what's going to be a thick layer of concrete. One essential before we do any major building work is of course uh, we've got to have a, a mince pie and it's the 1st of September today and of course the shops are now starting to fill up with Christmas stuff so uh, we've just been to the supermarket got a whole load of mince pies and so what better excuse rather than um, you know have one now and of course an obligatory cup of tea as well. Now to get it roughly level to start with we're using a laser level just so that we can sort of mark off within the uh, area that we're doing uh, a rough level so that um, we haven't got really sort of deep pockets or, or high points more importantly and this is the laser laser that we're using it's a, a DeWalt or DeWalt one which is there it's got a green um, laser light which apparently is better in daylight as you can get red ones and um, apparently green ones are better who know I never knew that Right, I've just ordered five tonnes of concrete, that's about two cubic metres, on the basis that it wasn't going to rain for about three days. And last night it absolutely threw it down. I just give up basically. Anyway, we're just waiting for the concrete mixer to arrive and then we'll start unloading it and putting it in the hole. So uh, yeah, I hope this all goes okay. Hiya. Thanks ever so much.
lot of that was quite a lot of fun actually and it went better than I thought it was going to and that little dumper truck thing that we were using was superb so along with the uh, tractor and that it took us about 40 minutes to unload about two cubic meters of concrete which is about five tons altogether and with the three of us doing it uh, it didn't uh, take too long and it was it's all right so this is the finished more or less the finished um, product. We've got a nice uh, pad that I've sort of, um, you know, rippled down. It's not going to be a really ultra smooth surface because uh, the sheep are going to go on here eventually and I don't want them to slip over and things like that. So to have a slightly textured rough surface is um, probably the finish or the best finish that we can hope for. So um, we're just going to leave this. It's not that warm at the moment. It's only about 14 degrees centigrade, 15, 14, something like that. So it's going to take a little bit of time to um, harden off. But I think because the weather's a bit rubbish at the moment. We're just going to cover it with um, some damp proof membrane which is like a thick plastic and then if it does sort of spit with rain we're not going to get little puddles and raindrops forming in it and all the rest of it. So uh, that's what we're going to uh, do now. So um, yeah I'm quite pleased with it really. Okay, well, this has been about a week now um, since we put this concrete down. The surface is really hardened up nicely, but we're going to leave it another week until we let the sheep on it. I think it might just scuff up a little bit if we put the sheep on now. So it'll be a good two weeks before anything goes on there, and I think that's probably about the right time. It's north facing this side, so it never really gets the sun brilliantly well, but there we go. Anyway, a huge thank you to my patrons, as always. I really appreciate um, their help, and also to you for getting this far in the video. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video then, but have a super week in the meantime. Bye for now.